In this video, I'll go over how to find an average in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty, and I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. Here I have in sheet number two, a list of books and example prices. A quick and easy way to get the average without having to type the formula is simply click and select the cells that you want to find an average for. I chose all of the book prices. And if we look down in the status bar, it gives me some information such as count, thumb, and selection count. We're not seeing average here. All we have to do is right click on it and we can choose what we want to see. So I'll try to hide the sum for now and I'll right click again and I'll choose average. So we can see it gave us an average of $17.87. So that's a quick and easy way without having to type in any formulas to see the average. Another way to do it is just simply type in the formula. So here I'll type in the formula is called average. And now indicate the cell range for it to do the calculation. Here I chose cell C2 to C10. And we should see the average in cell C11, $17.87. I'll just delete this and I'll go over the quick way to do this without even typing a formula is actually up here by the formula bar we have a function icon click this and we can choose any of these selections for it to give us a function in this case i'll choose average but take note that i have my cell selected where i want the value to go so i have already selected cell c11 i'll go ahead and click on this average and it pretty much just type in the formula for me. I can now press enter. Now we see that it put in the average formula for me after I clicked on the function icon in choosing average. So that's all there is to it. I showed you three fast and easy ways to find an average in LibreOffice Calc. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to learn, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you like learning about average, I'll link to another video I made about finding the sum. It's very similar, but you can go ahead and click to watch that video as well. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay nifty.